Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. We're two in the morning on the 45th day. I wonder what does that mean for a total year? 48? 12 per? Maybe. Uh, Edmund just woke up. I had him equip the pistol that uh, Rita had put down. And he's thinking about life right now. I want to send him out on a trip. So let's grab a meat soup. What did we need to get rid of first? Uh, 89%, 76%. How is he doing otherwise? Um, happiness is uh, about midway. So yeah, we should get him a real meal. So Edmund, come and eat a meat soup. And let's send you off on a on an expedition. Go and collect some resources. Otherwise, I'm thinking about moving, or well, rebuilding a structure right over here. That kind of serves the purpose that I talked about of maintaining this building so we can clear those out completely. Um, I've noticed that our blueberries or bush fruits are actually starting to go bad. 44% of uh, shelf life left. There and here 45% and in here 62%. Hmm. Which means we could get them all shoved into a fridge and then uh, not have room for our meals anymore. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, let's... What I'm thinking is getting more of these barrels down over there for making fuel and using these just for pickling and get these vegetables and fruits. From Whoa, wait a minute here. Can I use... I cannot. So, we can't pickle the fruits. Got to come up with another way to use them up because we got a ton of them. Okay, Edmund, let's get you out of here. Expedition, you would be good at one of these two. So cruise ship debris. Um, good high physical strength to scavenge. Same thing. Now this one had scary bugs there and he fled from it. I don't know if it still does. There's three visits left here. There are five visits left here. So I think that's the one to uh, to go to for now. And we'll roll the dice on the other one later. But let's see what we can bring back from a luxury cruise ship. All right. So you're there. You are... Actually, let's watch you this time. Where are you right now? You are going on an expedition. So you're going to go collect something. We only have eight veggie soups in here. So it should be pretty obvious what he actually takes. I think he takes two meals. But I've never been able to prove that. Yep, he grabs two meals. So that one time he came back and dropped one on the ground down over there. is because he only used one that trip and left the other one. And then they kind of fought over it. <laughs> I'm taking it. No, I'm taking it. And then nobody ate it. Anyway, um, so he's doing that. Everybody else is asleep. We're running on slow. It's already 5 in the morning, and it is dark out. Now, look at that. Although, it sure looks like a snowstorm is coming coming in, too. All right, we're brightening up. We're going to switch over to 6. <clears throat> no, we're just kind of random. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, what I wanted to do was a structure, and I'm thinking this kind of a structure is fine. It doesn't need to be insulated or anything like that. So, yeah. And something that's got a table and chairs. Something that's got a food storage for some berries or something, some fruit. And something that then also has a bunch of barrels for meat, bug meat, for making fuel, and a way to store those, not up in the fridge. So, let's kind of get that rolling. They should be able to take care of themselves up there. So I think that goes right here for now. And again, just temporary. And we'll eventually unpower devices. Sun is just coming up. The We cannot build in here. The photocells, the solar panels are thinking about things so yeah we'll go right there that kind of a structure we can uh, move is there M cool 
Well, of course, trying to find the M while looking down at this is not going to be easy, so maybe not cool. <laughs> but a place for folks to eat, and I guess something along those lines. Uh, barrels would be good. Let's do that. Let's just grab you up here and copy you. Because I'm, I'm lazy. <laughs> Turn you back on. Uh, copy. And... Uh, this side. One, two, three, four insufficient materials. And that's probably the most that we would need to deal with at any one time, bug meat wise. That's 200. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, all these are going to be moved. Um, we weren't collecting tea up there anymore because I had that somehow turned off on all the shelves, and I don't know how that happened. But uh, we're 7 o'clock. You're constructing a shelter. Oh, you're grabbing supplies. Carter, oh, everyone's in great sh health, uh, happiness-wise, or should be, after the event last night, the music night. Simon is transporting... Oh, just put things away, and I accidentally, I saw myself do that in a, while editing the, uh, videos the other night, so haul all these stones, please. Thank you. I was trying to turn off mining, and I turned off picking up that stone. Any more stones just sitting out here? No, we've actually mined this area out. Okay. Alright, so I'll build that structure. This one all comes down. Um... Yeah, these are not officially under a roof if I take it down now, so they're going to degrade that much faster. Yeah, so will just a little more transporting happen. Otherwise, what's going on up in here? Umayar is researching. Rita's transporting tea. She's going to go grab those now that we have a place to put them. So what else can we use the berries for? Let's get into cooking and see what we can create here. What is that noise? Somebody's sewing. No? Ah. We are researching. Aha. Uh -huh. Guess I've never heard that before. Um, stoves. Okay, so quick recipes. Veggies. So the bush fruits are not even an option here. These are not supposed to be in there. So how does that keep happening? But pickled vegetables are, and that's what I wanted to know. And your times. Wait a minute here. Oh, I, I did it the other way. Okay, X, you out. So we're going this route, veggies. Yeah, you're there. And that's an until 8. Buttermelon pie was just grain and buttermelon, which we don't have any more grain. Uh, grain porridge the same way. Meat pie has the true roots and red meat, which we don't have any at the moment. Uh, meat soup is until and that's bug meat or regular meat so we probably need to go do some hunting fruit cake uh, fruit cake yes until six grain well we got to get some grain in here grain is killing us um coffee is grain and tea we have all that we can handle okay so you were the stove that does the tea and the coffee so let's make sure that fruitcake gets up in that list since it's down low in the other one and then fruits flambe is in this one too that's bush fruits and we need alcohol so you're viable right why are you not fruits flambe did we not have moonshine still or has that been used uh, that is an other. There's still four moonshine. Okay, what am I missing here? Bruce Flambe, not enough resources. It takes bush fruits, and it takes moonshine. And we have all the... Oh, it takes five. And that takes grain to make a fifth one. <laughs> okay. Chef recipes. <clears throat> Anything new? Mushroom croquets, uh, oil, which takes grain, sweet meat bites, that takes grain, or uh, fats and oils, which takes grain, well, or it takes bug meat, wow, we are just kind of striking out here, aren't we, I didn't actually trigger that, did I, I guess I did, 
Just looking at it makes it happen. Uh, veggie stew. So nothing here for bread, grain. Yeah, nothing else that I can do with just the the bush fruits. So we may be losing a whole bunch of bush fruits here before long, unless I freeze them all. Yeah, we're 36 outside, we're 35 inside. I think it's time to close the window. <laughs> Umair, can you please close the window for me? Otherwise, these guys are turned off. They are 35 at the moment. Just got to remember to turn them back on. What kind of power are we able to store right now? We've got 88 of 1,000, 94. Um, power cell assembly spin research. We have done, we read that one. Okay. You are probably working on sleep. We'll call it sleep therapy, sleep training. Yeah, that's going to take you a while. So we're just bringing up everything from down there, which is everything now but the bow. So you can be disassembled. Unfortunately, you can't be uh, moved. You deconstruct, you deconstruct, you deconstruct, and you are set to deconstruct once you're empty. We'll go ahead and just set you, because I'm sure Rita's going to be back soon to uh, take care of that. Kana is deconstructing, Carter is moving, and little by little they're going to get this done. And then they're getting this structure built and stocked, and we need trees. Okay. So, Edmund, we've not heard from yet. Uh, Umayar, you do not like the outside so much, but you, your happiness is 100%. I think you would be a great person to take some trees down. Um, your food, everything you've got is fine. You just you hit a new milestone. All right, let's celebrate by building some muscle. Good job. <laughs> Edmund's gone. Distress signal. Edmund. No, this is different. The site of a recent crash started emitting an automated long-distance distress signal. It may be coming from an emergency lifeboat or from a, a ship's flight recorder. That's interesting. And if we don't get an attack as soon as Edmund comes back, I would be very willing to send him right back out again. Okay. Uh, what does that look like time-wise? Typical three days or what? Distress signal, four days. Okay. He's out at this one. Um, no pop-ups telling me anything, so... Okay. So I guess that would just call him right back. We couldn't do that last time. Was, uh, Rita was already on her way back. So we decided to take those four down there. We need to get somebody to come take some more over here, and some more over there, and some more over there. So, Simon, you are up to right... Or what right now? You are hauling all these goods in. Hmm. And you're already here, so may as well let you. Uh, though it would be better if you hauled the rest in once these were all torn down. I thought I'd set these for deconstruct. I guess I didn't somehow. Okay. So Edmund and that... Or Simon, why don't you instead deconstruct both of those? And Kana, you are constructing a fermentation barrel. And Carter is moving a wooden chair. Simon, when you're done, you're going to... No, we've still got this bow over here. Okay. So, yeah. You're either going to come back for the bow or you're going to come back for the straw. Either way, you're going to keep coming back. Uh, Carter, Kana, Rita. Rita, why don't you haul the bow? I can't have you haul the bow, can I? Equip, deconstruct, reserve. Yeah. I can't just have you haul the bow, unfortunately. It just that's not an option for me. So we have to wait till that thing naturally becomes empty. And otherwise, um You know what another thing I wanted done? It's thirteen hundred hours though. It's already one in the afternoon. It would be nice if somebody went to observe those birds during the daytime. Maybe that is a task for Simon. More so than... You're still transporting. You somehow got... You would... No, you did take it down. You did do what I asked you to. 
All right. Do I want you to wander out over here and take a look at these guys? We could try this. You've got a pretty decent observing speed. Your happiness is decent. You don't need a meal. Let's see what happens. I want to see this during the daytime. We've got a nest of them over here. We've still got a probably last night's uh, kill from these guys. From the giant chickens. We've got a nest over here. And swing them back through here. I thought I saw another nest. So another... Yeah, they've been eating pancoffs during the night. But I thought over in here there was another nest on the ground. No, but more more carnage. So many pancoffs being taken out by these giant chickens. So they just roam through here during the night and and attack the pancoffs as they're roosting. What pathway was I on when I it was this one? I was kind of watching as I was editing things. Maybe it was this that I saw. It was in the dark. It looked like yet another nest. It was either one of these or this. Yeah, it must have been. Heading out over here. You are something to observe. Or Oh, you're just an ore deposit to take down. Okay. Um, I guess I should get this rolling. Okay, so it's just the two nests at the moment. You? Ah, this is the path I was on. I saw this and I saw that. Okay, so one nest, one not a nest. Then over here there was another nest going on. And that's it. Okay, two nests in that area. What's happening over here? Well, they're all doing their things. We've read that, or seen that. Uh, lots and lots of these guys. Lots of these guys. Hmm... Means there's a lot of poo over here, and there's a lot of meat and leather over here. I think it's time to go ahead and do some hunting. I really do. Let's grab this whole area, and first of all, let's unselect or allow that anymore. There we go. And that area, let's do the same thing for over here. And right, looks like there's some right there. No, that is. What are you just sitting around here for? You, you're refrigerated. We've got five uh, smoke leaf leaves out there. And you are what? You're some blade grass that might revive in the spring. We'll see. So who best to do some hunting? I'm thinking Rita's probably our best hunter at the moment. And how do we choose? Thump. Or thump thumps happening. You are female, male, female. How many males are around? A lot of females. Very few males. Okay. Complete. So I'd say we take out a few of the females, leave a, a definitely a breeding pair. Or I don't know if they pair off or if, or if it's like a bull in a herd. He just has his herd here. So let's hunt you three and over here we'll leave those so male two females male two females left those two herds that should hopefully keep more of them being made you we've got male female male little male and a little and female okay we'll stop there so that's that's three more Sources of meat than we had earlier. Complete. All right. I scavenged as much scrap metal as I could and found a suitcase with winter clothing. Oh, nice. We get to bring more than one thing back at a time. Nice to see that. Well done. Come on back. So, Rita probably brought back something transporting wood. Okay. Let's... Three in the afternoon. I think there's time. Can I get you to hunt? You've got the railgun sniper. Yeah. Hunt. No. Cancel that. Where are they? They're over there. You, I didn't mean to 
do that. Over here. Rita. Okay, there we go. Hunt. Hunt. And hunt. And by then you'll be hungry. 61%. We've got solar eclipse. Oh, we just got fuel and... Or just got a fuel alternative and now it's gone. Okay. Temperature inside is 51. Ooh. Hmm. We better turn these back on. So I need the first person available handling fermentation barrel. Um, then come over and handle fridges. Okay. Now, hunting, good. Transporting, good. Ah, the sound of a of a solar eclipse beginning. Everything getting dark. Otherwise, flightless bird is almost done. Good. He does have a good observation speed. Kana is handling the barrels. Oh, you are actually putting something in the barrels. So I didn't actually say what to do here and it's automatically doing. Good. And you are awaiting. Is there more? Uh, no, there is not. So I wonder if this gets loaded with 36 if the rotting process will cease. I don't know. Otherwise, you guys are going to be mostly fuel-oriented. You guys are going to be mostly... Well, let's just do it this way. Take you down to the bottom. So antibiotics are first and pickled vegetables are last. Same thing here? Yeah. So make sure we've always got antibiotics in stock no matter what. Otherwise, let's see how many vegetables we can preserve before they're gone. Something's different there. Why are you different? Liquid fuel is... Oh, because liquid fuel is being produced right now in here. 94%. Okay. That's why you're different. Alright, so these are running. Bring these temperatures back down again. Gujo. Uh, Gujo. That that does look like a Gujo. That's the... Not, that would not have been my first guess. Calling these guys Gujos. Okay. That flightless bird reminds me of an animal from my home planet, so I gave it the same name, Gujo. Unlike the calm bird that I know of, this one is quite feisty and seems to have a taste for meat. I think I still like giant chicken better. <laughs> it mostly sleeps during the day and hunts during the night. It's a fast runner and I don't envy its prey, nor its hunter trying to catch up with it. It also seems to have a strong bond with its mate. Uh huh. All right. Now we know what the Gujo is. And Simon, anything you can do over here? You're equipping new shoes. Oh, so your shoes just died. Yep, and you're going to grab new ones. Okay, well, it's good to see that works. Is there anything out here to bring in? Have we ever left anything in this area? Um, I guess I can hit your pathway home and see what shows up. Nothing. Okay, sitting on the ground over here. 48 hay. And over here. 48 hay. So, Simon, on your way in, I guess... Here. There we go. Why don't you haul these in? And you'll automatically go get shoes after that. Okay. Kana is handling another fermentation barrel, which means what? If she's dealing with this one, we've moved pickling up into it. I don't know that I really want to deal with... No, we... Yeah. With the hauling. Let's kill that on all these. These guys need to be just... For fuel. Okay, so Kana, you are now going to... Getting something to eat. Okay. Then that's better. So, Paulet, what have you been up to? What are you able to cook now? You are cooking veggie soup. Animal attack. Uh-oh. 
Alright. So read it. Let's see what you can do. Do we need to send help? There is that. Who is nearby that can begin the trek? Carter, where are you at? You are as close as anybody else. Carter, draft and run out here and give her some backup. Okay, Rita. What can you do? That definitely changed his mind. Okay, good. Aggressive animals, 62. What? Oh. And kind of in between Rita and, oh, and home. And boy, they're right nearby. See that again? There they are. Yeah. Who's out here? Nobody. We do have some Olfen out here. Carter's going over there to help Rita. And you guys are going to behave yourselves, right? Okay. I have to keep an eye on that. So, what have we got? We've dropped another one. So, we've dropped two and a half. Okay, one more time. Carter, you should be running out here soon, and you're down. Okay. I need you to butcher two of them. Carter, you are still running out here. Let's get you to butcher one. And if we can time this right, we can get one of you to bring in the leather and one of you to bring in... And it just got it just got naturally dark. The sunset brought in... Got rid of the solar eclipse. Um, now, if it's a solar eclipse, wouldn't there be like a... A big moon right here with a, a sun behind it. Don't don't notice that, huh? Okay. Undraft, can you butcher this olfin? See if we can get you guys to bring back everything. The same trip. While that's happening, bugs are still over here. They are going after. Which means they're going to be running this direction. So we gotta be careful how we get back home tonight. Um, it might not be a bad idea to pick off a few of these guys right now. It really might be smart. Okay, Paulette and Umayar and Kana applauded Umayar's intellectual growth. Good. Kana. And that is everyone in this immediate area. You guys are down here transporting that bow. Good. And dog. Okay. You three draft. And where is the Olfen they are chasing? It's right there. Okay. You three come out over here. And you guys are doing what? Rita's butchering. She's not going to be happy when she gets back. She's going to be hungry. Yeah. 46, not too bad. You guys are still making your way over there. They're still going after that Olfen. But while they're separated off, I can take out a few of them. Okay, you're butchering that one and butchering that one. You guys over here. Okay, Mr. Olfen, where'd you go? Well, we got a bug right here. So you guys come on over to, I guess, well, where have you got a shot? Over to here so the tree's not in your way. And work on this guy. There might be others nearby. Otherwise, over here. Time you finish this one, I need Carter to be getting leather from both. Okay, you guys in place yet? Almost. Oh, he's scampering away. Okay, so head over here. Hate doing both these at once. Aggressive animals, 62. Who can run faster? Us or the aggressive animals? That could get a little dicey if they're playing with them at the wrong moment. Okay, you've got meat. So I want you over here to haul hides. Did I dig it, Carter? So you are transporting hides. So you're going to transport that hide. Good. You're going to walk this way. By the time you get here, 
I'm hoping that Rita will just be finishing and be another pile of hides on the ground. You guys are over here somewhere. There you are. So let's continue working you into place and see if you can... Oh, we just don't have the long range. Rita needs to be here doing this. Okay, one of them. Let's get you guys back. See if it's still only one. It is. Okay, take him out. And, yeah, we can't really do this at night when we can't see, huh? Meanwhile, you guys are doing what over here? Rita. There you are. So you are... Rita's transporting meat. Carter is transporting hides. Hey, it worked out. They figured it out, and they're going to get everything. Okay. So we've got... You guys have done that. Let's... Oh, how did we deal with this? Connor's in good shape, good shape, good shape. Good enough. I'm wondering, if, do we get them to sleep for the few hours that are left? I didn't note when that happened. Was it 19 or 18? Hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> what time is our attack? You guys go ahead and move in here a little bit closer. Let's... Let's snag just a, a couple more. Let's not actually shoot them. Let's just trigger them. Okay. Two of them. Stop right over here and stun them. Did not stun. Okay. We did kill one, though. And Paulette is taking a bite. And we shot them. Okay. Their accuracy is not that great at night. I think we're going to go ahead and just tell them to go home. I don't think this is going to be the best use of our of our chopped off fingers and toes. All right, 98 and 50, 157, and I don't, and some poo. Okay, so I think we've got everything that's important out of that. All right. And 98 is then going on the drying rack, but I think they can make soup out of it, but I'm not sure. Hmm. So you guys are going in, Paulette's going to get treated. By whom? Paulette and Edmund were the two doctors. Or doctors to be. You guy, you took a bite, didn't you? No, you didn't. It was... Okay. Where's the orphan that they were chasing and attacking? Are you guys up here? They got a bite out of one. And I didn't get the sense they took it down and ate him. So where did he run to? Did he join this group over here? No? Yeah? I don't know. So Carter's heading in. Rita's heading in. Neither are crossing these guys' paths. And... If it was 19, then we're at, what, 2 in the morning? 1 in the morning? Hmm... Yeah, we're not going to get a lot of sleep in tonight. And dog, you need to... Well, by one in the morning, you will be indoors. Okay. You'll go in on your own. We're attacking. And it's midnight. Okay. So, unfortunately, you guys are just going to have to drop what you've got. Draft. Head to our defensive structure as fast as you can. And everybody else, draft, head down here. And we'll see if we can get there faster than they can. Edmund is still gone, so that has not happened. If it does happen, I guess I'm going to send him into the house. Yeah, okay, let's see what happens here. And are they going to lock in on Dog? That's a problem. He's outside and... Oh, is he? He made it indoors. Okay, he made it in. All right, so everyone is heading down that way. You guys are tracking over here pretty hard. Let's see if you regroup. Heading in like so. You, <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. There's a forced migration. Okay, Paulette, where are you at the... Oh, did you... You were injured, but you're no longer waiting... Uh... Paulette. No longer waiting treatment. I got wondering if you were just still in bed waiting. 
All right, so you're going there. Rita, you are a good shot, but you're longer range. You can pop into there. Carter, you're going to pop into here. Simon, you head to here. Um, Kana, you head to here. And Umayar, you head to here. All right. We missed anything. Everything's looking fine. They've all diverted away from the house again. You've walked around the house, and I found a place to hide. Good, good you. Rita reached combat five. Great. And unpowered devices. Yeah. Okay. No sign of Edmund. No sign of him. All right. Let's do this. Now, these guys are just the normal ones. And, oh, the fires. Didn't think of turning those on. Would have been nice to have had some light out there, because we can't see at night. Yeah. Now, yeah, didn't didn't think of it in time. Uh, damage fence. These guys are going to just pick off all of this as fast as they can. Let's see if they make it through. The... Giant mantises last time picked through it pretty quick. What was that last one? Uh, damage torch, damage structures, and the stun is all of these guys got a good stun on them over here. They're stunned. Well, it's good to see. Well, there's a lot of them. All right, where are we actually at wall wise? 42, so we're halfway through some of these walls. They haven't done. Am I not clicking on them? Or they actually haven't done any damage over here. You're 74. So it's you that have got the worst damage. We've hit a lot of our traps. Which has captured or injured a lot of bugs. And did we just take a tree out? We just took a tree out. How is that possible? I just saw that fall over. Did I imagine that? I don't know. And why are you lit up? You're for observing. Okay. I'll have to look at that again when I'm editing the video. I thought I just saw a tree fall over right there. Okay. No injuries. No red bars. Nobody's surprising us like that last time. Only one damaged fence right in there. That's visibly showing. Otherwise, and the gate? No, gate's fine. Got some damage going on over here now. Uh, Carter's reached combat four. Destroyed brick fence. So now we're going to we're going to start working on this wall. Chomp, 70 of 70. New apparel, new apparel. Oh, Edmund must be back and he found some winter clothes. Yeah. So what do you bring? Christmas time. Got some good shoes. Got his uneaten meal. We've got some fur coat, thermal pants. Boots, fur cap, 70 scrap metal, and his extra veggie soup, which is 100% when it wasn't in the refrigerator. So there's some kind of rejuvenation that goes on in these trips. Mm-hmm. So Edmund is arriving. I don't know what he could do to help us. Though it's possible some of these might suddenly start tracking on him and kind of distract them a bit. Meanwhile, 54% or 54 of 70 left. We've taken two of these down. 49. You are still 70. All right, so 44, 70. And you're just chewing away. 59 over here. So these two we've got to watch out for. And took you down. Good. And no more chomping over here. I think we're just about done. Who we got left? Um, boy, it's hard to do this in the dark. What I can tell, it is just a bug left over here. Now there's a couple over here. So I need... Kana... Who are you aiming at? Oh, there's still somebody right down here. So it looks like everybody is still shooting at something. Okay, we're done. Whew. Well, Edmund, you want to grab something to eat. You had a perfectly good meal here. And you're going to go grab berries. 
dude. All right. Deal with your meal. Um, eat veggie soup. It says we can refuel. Uh, where is that? Crafting supplies? We have 60 fuel. Is the generator fueled? Generator is waiting to be turned on and refuel. Okay. Let's get that generator going again. So I'm going to go through, get the butchering done, and send these guys to bed somehow. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be all screwed up without being able to sleep at night. They're, they're a mess. And But I do want the fuel. I really do. So I'll take the time to figure this all out, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, well, this is the cleanup crew. Everybody else is pretty much tanking, though. Umair is getting close. I'm just going to send him as far as the fermentation barrel to get another batch going, then he's going to head up and do what he needs to do. Uh, Kana is transporting, meaning, yeah, she's in a low mood. Let's let her uh, get this work done, though... Yeah, I never did reset these. So you are deselect all, then you get just... Well, you get fruits... And you get insect meat. And copy and paste. All right. So with that, you are just heading to the next one. Edmund is in the best shape of us all. Average mood. And there's a Simon down here too, right? Yeah. Low mood and low mood. So you two, as you get finished, you're going to have to... Uh, yeah, you're transporting more meats, though... What are you up to right now? Umar is handling. Okay. Then let's have... Actually, Simon, why don't you handle this other one instead? And Kana... Um, I wish she would take it to the very closest one possible. Not sure why you're wanting to walk up top there. Umar is getting some food after he did his job. Simon is doing his. And... Oh, you're going to grab more from there. So, Kana, I want you to transport that to here. Can you do that? Or do I have to go shut down everything else? Looks like you maybe can now. So, Simon is on his way up to grab something to eat. He still didn't finish that. He didn't. Okay, then, Kana, new plan. Oh, reserved by Simon. Now, you just go ahead and do that. Simon, you go to sleep. Okay. Actually, Simon. Simon. Happiness. Yeah, your food is good enough for the moment. I set everybody on do whatever you want for the first half of the day and let them just finish things off. You are transporting. Why don't you do that? <laughs> so frustrating. They can't deal with what's already in their hand. Okay, Edmund, you are still in decent shape, so I'm going to give you the rest of the bugs. So you do these next. Butcher, butcher, ten more. And anything else that I can find that's not triggered. Alright, that's pretty much all that. Okay, Kana, you are still only low, so you're going to be able to pull this off now. You are handling, so you're going to put some away. Yeah, and some in there. Now you got it figured out. Okay, good show. Edmund is still butchering. So what's happening up here? Sleeping, 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 sleeping. Yeah, you guys are going to need it. Sleepings and foods and Carter's snowman is pretty much gone. Rita's down to one ball too. So we... Did we get turned on? We did. Did we get... A generator we did not temperature in here is 39 indoors outdoors is 41 in the fridge is 39 we do need this turned on soon so Kana when you're done eating can you handle a generator please and we we'll get that going we're only at 11 and we're at refrigerator temperature so it's going to get warmer through the day Simon is kind of risk of meltdown, but you'll eat some food and at least neutralize. And then you'll get some sleep. Okay, Edmund, you are still butchering away. And there's still a couple more that are showing up. Four. Okay, everything else now is in queue. All right. Anything hiding over here? We still have... Oh, we have this guy too. It's Edmund. 
Yeah, grab him as well. So you do all the butchering, do all the hauling. You Oh, there's more over here as well. Four Scarabai, butcher you guys. And you're thinking very seriously about it. Um, who up here is no longer going to die on me if I ask you to do something? Carter, you look like you could. Paulette, even better than Carter. Rita, even better. You... Let's have you. Come on down here and butcher this one and convince this guy not to... Uh, let's see, Simon, how, what shape are you in? You're pretty rough. Umar, you are too. You're my two researchers. Edmund's busy. He's got a little bit of research to him. Kind of nice to observe this one while we could. But I guess Rita's going to shoo him away anyway. But he's thinking very seriously about this, isn't he? He's just waiting for the right moment to move in. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, Rita. Go chase him away. You are kind of wanting to be our pet really bad. But I don't want to feed you. That's, that's the big thing right there. Though... We could feed you on all those bush berries that we don't need anymore, but I don't know. Wind's blowing, snow's coming down, something clicked and went away. Um, couldn't reach. So you are officially not available. You are butchering. I'll put you back in one more time, just in case. And then you'll probably get triggered to... There she is to uh, just haul and put all the stuff away. So you're butchering the last one over here. Rita's going to grab these two. Then she's going to do that one. And she's going to do that one. Then she can pick up all those foods. It was good we had that music night. That gave everybody the bonus they needed to survive this. So that was really good timing. And butchering still. There must have been a few stacked in that same space. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have some meat. What is that that keeps popping? Is that you can't... Let's try this one more time. Okay, you figured that one out now. And one more time. Edmund Butcher... And we just suddenly went dark at 1,400 hours. Okay, you cannot butcher that one. All right. So what's with the dark? Just a cloud going over the sun? Yeah, that's probably it. All right, you're going to transport. You are transporting, hauling, Rita. Haul. Wow. You absolutely will not do what I'm asking. Interesting. Rita, draft, undraft, and then haul. Okay. <laughs> she will not. So Edmund, maybe Edmund had it in his queue and that canceled her out. I don't know. But Dog does not need your attention that badly. What does need your attention are these three little bugs over here that need to go into our fuel fermentation barrels. So why don't you deal with that? Otherwise, folks are getting up, researching, eating, torch. How is the relaxation going? Carter's repairing. He's still... Well, he does have all of this stacking up and helping him. Okay. Um... Edmund is, is low. Kana is still low. Where is Kana right now? Kana's gone back down to handle a trap. How are you doing otherwise? Eh, I think you'll probably be okay. Yeah, so all the bug meat is pretty much picked up through here. Looks to be. I guess Edmund got it all. That's loaded. He took it all up top, though. He did. Oh, that's frustrating. So, well, we got a good chunk of fuel out of there. Anybody else bring any up? No. Okay. So, in that case... Mm, no, nah, we'll, just, we'll just save it. Okay. Paulette's probably going to end up cooking with it, though. That's a problem. 
and it's, it's always going to be a problem no matter what. If I were to leave it down there and Paula decides she wants to do a meat soup, then she's going to walk all the way down there to get them. So you are transporting fuel. What does that mean? You're emptying one of these. I could just go ahead and dump that meat right into here. I could. So in that case, Simon, when you're done, why don't you go ahead and ferment some fuel. And over here, we've got three pumpkins sitting in there waiting for the next round. Because Paulette is filling that one up right now. <laughs> Alright, was... When were these um, officially going to finish? We've got a long way to go. Okay. What's happening over here? We're resetting traps. And we are adding brick to walls. Did we get you rebuilt yet? We did not, so we'll need to throw some wood in there. Okay. Well, that battle worked. We survived. You are bringing in 12 meat. I take it you got everything out of this you could, okay? And you are a poo. Okay. So I guess that was the excitement of the day. Edmund, you are in bad shape as far as going out on another trip, though this would be the time to do it. We did get the distress signal. Rita, let's get you a meal. Um... You are transporting. Let's get you a meal and get you out to that distress signal. You've got the good gun. We should need it over here for a while. And there probably won't be much in the way of hauling back. It's probably go and see if there's somebody to rescue or something along those lines. Yeah, I think so. So we are not that far ahead on wood. Okay. We actually, that's right, we never got back to our cutting. Yeah, I guess that'll have to wait for next time. Um, we are past this point, so I can go ahead and put these back in for next time. Like that. Okay. That's an easy way to give a quick, you know, a temporary uh, fix and not have to redo the whole schedule. Eating, handling a furnace. Kana is still... Actually, you're in better shape now. You're repairing a torch. So we really could use a little bit of hay down here too, huh? Now, you are not supposed to be able to degrade outside of a wooden structure. But it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and drop something like you in here. Yeah, let's think about that. So we'll get more storage in here. Better... Which side is better? Um, I guess there. That will give us a pathway through if we need it. And let's copy. Put one of you in there. And then two of you in there. And you guys are all going to be just construction materials and hay and sticks and bricks. Actually, I can do each one. You're going to be hay, you're going to be sticks, you're going to be wood, and you're going to be bricks. Okay. So one pile of all of you down here. And this will all be ready for next time. Simon is transporting the last of the meat. Yeah, he did. But I wish I could put a priority on these somehow. A priority on our storage would certainly be helpful. Um, Paulette is handling a furnace, which means bricks. Which means bricks. Okay. We've got all of the of the alloys that I wanted to spend scrap metal on. Though we do have a bunch more scrap metal that just showed up. And you guys are degrading outside. The meal is. Let's get somebody to haul this meal in. Uh, Umayar is eating. And then when he's done, he's going to haul in the meal. And the rest will get hauled in with just the, uh, uh, the del delivering, normal delivering tomorrow. Otherwise, drinking teas, which are now being stored on a shelf right in there. Okay. And this has been emptied quite a bit. or out of power, but this never got handled, did it? We got fuel. Does this mean it's on or it's waiting to be turned on? 
I don't know. It's turned on. If I were to click anybody and right click, turn off. It says, so that means it's running. Though it's not running. What am I not getting here? There is fuel. It's supplying zero. Click to turn it off. So it is turned on. And nobody can turn it on. Carter, can you... You can only turn off. So it acts like it's running, but it's not. I don't know. Is it still connected to the grid? Is there a way of knowing that? Forbidden refueling. No. Forbidden refueling. <laughs> I'm going to have to stare at this one in a little while. I'm not sure what's happening there. But I think we're pretty much done for the day. 2,200 hours. Um, they're just going to hopefully get some relaxation in and, and get caught up on sleep. And first thing in the morning, next episode, we'll get Edmund sent out again. So I think this day, I think the excitement of this day is kind of a wrap. Look, one last check. Yep, dog still got food. Okay. So I hear music being played. Yeah, they're going to recharge and get ready for tomorrow's adventure. So I'm going to call it done at this point, and I will catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.